guys, welcome back to the channel Gadgets for a Gentleman. Something just came in from Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. Um, I saw this item on Amazon. I was actually looking for a Waterman uh, fountain pen, a beautiful one with um, black and gold. I think the name is called Hemisphere. And then this article showed up uh, because it's... Um, yeah, it's something that people looking for Waterman fountain pens also look for or purchased. So thanks to that um, AI, this article showed up. And I don't know a whole lot about it. All I know is it's, a made, it's um, designed in the USA and assembled in China. And this should be a very high quality fountain pen. So at, at, a, at a very affordable price point. So Majestic, Majesty Medium Nip, uh, classic black gold trim. And let's have a closer look. I did uh, check uh, some websites and I saw some um, video reviews. And those uh, videos were very positive about this product. So yeah, I'm really interested to see um, what we have here. And what do we have here is some, I think we have some faux leather uh, case. Yeah, I do think this is not authentic leather, but let me check that out in a minute. We have some beautiful engraving here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is faux leather. Wordsworth and black. Let's open it up. So the main thing here is a beautiful fountain pen that feels quite heavy, quite solid. Only when I shake it, I hear something funny. And by comparison, this is the uh, Vector by Parker. So you can see that we're dealing here with a significant larger fountain pen, uh, quite a bit thicker and longer. Uh, and again, this is my daily driver. This is my daily uh, fountain pen. So let's have a closer look inside. I think these are some car cartridges. Yeah, so we have three blue cartridges and three black ones and inside we have this um, yeah these uh, this booklet Wordsworth and black hello thank you very much for purchasing a Wordsworth and black fountain pen we appreciate and value your support at Wordsworth and black our highest values include creativity craftsmanship and a commitment to quality aesthetics. We offer a comprehensive range of pens, planners, and letter journals with the emphasis on quality, choice, and value. Our mission is to offer the best possible customer service coupled with fast delivery. We guarantee all our products provide the finest after sales support. Your best ideas deserve the commitment to quality. Write with your fountain pen today and preserve your memories for a lifetime. And the CEO and co-founder is Sam Fraser. So uh, the fact that they uh, claim to have the best after sales and so on, I think is um, very important when it comes to fountain pens. Okay, 29 years. 29 years. Interesting. They say that each pen is handcrafted. Interesting. And I think the design of these pens, they look quite a bit similar to the uh, Mont Blanc pens, but only at a fraction of the costs. Your fountain pen consists of six parts when assembled, the cap, the nip, the feet, the section, barrel and piston converter, which is found inside the barrel. So. There should be a, a piston converter, which is this one, or this one, 
as you can see here, should be already inside. Maybe that was the thing that was shaking. Let me demonstrate it to the microphone. Okay. The cartridge is a self-contained disposable unit filled with ink. Ink cartridges are more commonly used than converters. Definitely, I have a lot of these um, ink cartridges laying around. So, But I also have some, uh, I think, Parker ink. Give me one second. Yeah, I do not have a, a piston converter for the uh, Parker pens. So maybe I will finally be able to use this one for the, uh, yeah, for this new pen, the Wordsworth and Black. Okay, let's proceed. So this is what the uh, pen looks like. We have the cap, the barrel, nip, feet, converter. Interesting. Okay, so I went for the medium nip, which is, um, yeah, I think it, uh, from, for the way I write, I like the medium nip, but there's also a fine nip and a broad nip. And this is how the um, cartridge works. So the body has a screw mechanism. And this is how the uh, piston converter works. Basically, uh, it works a bit like a, like a needle injection. Uh, where you pump up the ink from the bottle inside this um, um, reusable cartridge container. And then the only thing is you need to uh, wipe it a little bit because there could be some drips. And here it is explained how to uh, clean the fountain pen. How to keep it in uh, good condition. Interesting, interesting. Honestly, I never cleaned my fountain pen, so definitely uh, I can learn something here. I'm not an expert uh, when it comes to uh, fountain pens, but uh, I have been using them for many, many years. I think for 20 years now. Over 20 years. I really love fountain pens. Okay, that's it. So nice documentation so far. Nice case. We have some beautiful uh, velvet or satin kind of material. Really like the presentation for, I think this was a, a, a 30 euro pen, if I'm not mistaken. And I will leave a link in the description, but I think it's a great presentation. Beautiful. Again, here we see that W and B signature reminiscent a little bit again of the waterman that i was initially looking for but the waterman is far more expensive and uh, what i want to do with my waterman is i want to send it in for repair because this part broke off from my waterman did this top part so basically that should be easy to um, repair don't need uh, a brand new one i think that is beautiful, beautiful inscription here. And again, the nip is uh, far bigger than the Parker, as you can see here. Far bigger. And with the Parker, um, I usually put the cap on the back. I write like so. But um, with this one, I probably will write it like so. I probably won't connect the, uh, the cap because it's gonna be uh, too big. It's gonna be too big for my hands. It looks beautiful though. Yeah, anyways, so let's open it up. So here inside we can find that piston. Then we can simply screw down like so. Opa. Let's uh, throw it back. There we go. I think that's it. And here we have
have that screw down mechanism. And there we go. <laughs> okay, that that split second that I just uh, went from away from the camera. All I did was just um, uh, make my finger a little bit wet and just touch my finger like so. And now, as you can see, the pen is writing and it writes beautiful, as you can see here. Um, Right, it's very comfortable, it doesn't skip anything. Now let me try and put the cap here. Okay, there we go. This is, I'm super overwhelmed by this pen. I really, really like this. Um, you can purchase this item too using the link in the description under this video best Lawrence yeah so <laughs> I really like this writing super super easy and I really like the look of this watch I think it looks very uh, premium and even this way you can, I guess you can throw it in your shirt. This is very stiff. I don't know if this will loosen up, but you can uh, throw it in your, your, your shirt and carry this with you. Beautiful pen. Um, I have pretty small hands. Um, give me one second. Maybe this helps. Um, yeah, I'm European, so I'm just using centimeters here. This is uh, about, 15 centimeters, almost 15 centimeters, over 14 and a half centimeters from uh, tip to tip. And the body itself, when you uh, unscrew it, the body itself uh, is about 11 and a half centimeters. And as you can see, it is quite thick. It's uh, it's quite thick. It's about one and a half centimeters um, wide. And yeah, I think it's beautiful. Let me throw it on the on the scale, just for your point of um, reference. So there we go. We're dealing here with the uh, ink cartridge inside and the uh, cap, 54 grams. And without the cap, we're dealing here with 38 grams. So definitely quite a, a heavy fountain pen, in my opinion, compared to the uh, Parker, which weighs only 15 with the cap and 10 without the cap. That's just um, something to keep in mind. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely gonna enjoy using this fountain pen. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions,
questions or comments, let me know. Have a wonderful day and see you soon.